history that this storm must have been witness to. Stokes Tobacconists is one of Cape Town's oldest businesses, which opened its doors in 1793. Since then, it's been in the hands of just four families and survived through the ages. Now in the hands of its fourth generation owner, the store continues to sell unique tobacco products like imported cigars and handcrafted pipes, many of which have kept its doors open. We're a very niche business. We don't sell mass market products. You can buy your mass market products like your cigarettes and your this and your that, but if you want a bespoke pipe, you want a bespoke cigar, you want something traditional, you want a famous brand that you can't generally find anywhere else, the real, the real business is in our own hand-blended tobacco. We buy in from various farmers, various suppliers, producers, and we blend ourselves. 223 years of record books and entries have been meticulously kept, and famous names have been penned. Even Winston Churchill was a client during the Boer War. The store has persevered through major historical events, and even a complete ban locally on cigarette advertising. It's testament to its resilience over time, and there's no plan in stopping. The store has survived the annexation of the Cape by the British from the Dutch, two Boer Wars, two World Wars, apartheid, the end of apartheid, political regime changes, and we're still going strong and plan to continue to do so. Pictures of the previous owners are hung, displaying its history proudly as a South African success. There's no doubt Cape Town has changed over the course of two centuries, but in many ways the store has not, and that has been attributed to its success as a city institution. As a Cape Townian, this shop uh, means a lot to me because um, it's one of the first businesses here in Cape Town from the 1700s, and um, it's very well established over the years. Everybody knows about this place. They come from far and wide just to pick up their cigar or whatever. For now, though, its regular customers still come by daily. Some to shop, others to reminisce. Although united in their undying support for their old favorite tobacconist. That was Andrew, CCTV, Cape Town.